Good morning, you guys. It is 7.30. Um, I have class at 8. So I just want to say a little disclaimer. I hope everybody's having a great week. I want to say the next clip is going to be me, you know, being very frustrated. It's 15 minutes long of me cursing and, you know, it's a um, recap of my first semester going into my second semester. So if you can't relate, don't say shit to me. Um, if you can't relate, just skip through it. Or if you can't relate, don't even watch the video. I was going to disable comments for the simple fact that some people, you know, watch a video and it hits home or they're going through something and they want to put their two senses into it. I don't care if you share your opinion, but sometimes people feel like they are the ones going through it and they want to say like stupid little shit. And then I thought it's not fair to the subscribers that actually, you know, F with us and, you know, Ride with us and watch all our videos. It's not fair to you guys for us to just disable comments because I know some of you guys love to listen to what we say and, you know, like to comment. So I don't think that's fair. So I'm just going to leave the comments open. You know, um, if you guys want to see more videos of me ranting about school and stuff, I have so much to say. Um, you know, so let me know down below so that I can share them here and there as I vlog. Um and what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else. I've been wanting to quit for the last two weeks, um, like really heavy. Like I I'm not even joking, you know, um, I'll get into it eventually, um, and stuff like that. But yeah, you guys, I hope that you guys are doing well. Um, I hope that if you're going to school, if you're younger than me, you might have a lot more patience. Um, you know, if you're older than me, you might have less patience than me. Um, stay strong It's gonna pay you off and hopefully I can take my own advice because right now I'm just talking about it and I don't want to go into class. I, I really just don't like I'll explain later on but I hope that you know these videos are beneficial and that keep you positive and keep you going because when I tell you the journey is not easy and it's not even the schoolwork. I, I will explain later on but enjoy the vlog you guys. You guys it is 8 30. I'm in school. I've been contemplating if I even want to keep coming to school. Please do not mind my nails. I had to take them off because I'm just going to recap the last semester. Because, you know, I'm just over it at this point. I'm over it. Um, last semester, I had the same issue. Both of my classes, I passed with a B. I was aiming for a C. In the beginning, I was like aiming for an A, and then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go for the bare minimum, a 78 average. Now they changed everything because back in the days, you would pass. Like growing up, it was a 70 you would pass, then they moved it to 75. Now they moved it to eight, um, 78. <clears throat> so I'm like, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm like... I'm just going to, you know, try to pass with the bare minimum. I got B in both of my classes, which I'm really happy about that. But even in the beginning of last semester, um, you know, I I'm just over it. All my teachers are really, really old. These um, new set of teachers, one of them is just so miserable. And it's just like they keep talking about, you know, work ethics, talking about how don't take anything personal with a patient and stuff like that, because, you know, you're going to get patients that are, you know, mean and nasty. Don't take it personal, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, um, the way you the way you carry yourself is what you're going to attract. I've worked with, you know, old people all my life. Yes, it's not always peaches and cream, but I know how to handle old people. I grew up, you know, taking care of my family, um, sick individuals, you know, taking care of family. If you could take care of your family, you could take care of anybody because sometimes taking care of family members, it is the worst. Okay. You get all types of treatment. You get all types of shit, you know, so if you could handle that at 14, 15 years old, if I can handle that, I can handle anything. Okay. So when my teachers be talking about that, I'd be thinking to myself, Bro, the way you carry yourself, like, you're such a miserable fucking cunt. I was going to curse her out the other day because I'm having a problem now again with this semester that I can't download none of my books. You know, there's two set of books that I'm missing, and I'm so pissed off because every time we have a two-hour window break, and we're all pissed off in the class because all of us live 40 minutes away, an hour away. Now we all have to sit in our cars, scramble, you know, two hours, two hours and a half of break. 
of doing nothing. None of us could drive home because that's just a waste of time and gas. So every time I have to call, you know, the service desk, they always hanging up the phone on me or, you know, um, they um, tell me, they told me to clear my cash data the other day, if, that, if I'm saying that right, like my whole history, change the time, make sure the time and date, everything is set in my computer and I still cannot download my books. And what pisses me off is, if y'all know, I like to get my work done. Like all my assignments, all my, you know, homework, whatever I need to get done, I like to get that done in like a day or two. Every chapter that I can do, I'm going to do it right away so that I can have time to study for my quizzes and stuff like that and read. But today I'm just going to talk to the director. I'm going to tell them, yeah, either put me in a different class, yeah, either give me a paper book or I'm going to drop the class and um, I'm just going to wait because, you know, I, I, I don't understand this. All my teachers, most of them are old. Last semester, the same shit. My teacher was like, don't ask me for any help because I'm not good with technology. Well, do you think that you should take like a course and learn? Because if I can't ask you for help, who else am I going to fucking ask? You know what I'm saying? Thank God last you know semester, some student was able to help me because nobody in the class wanted to help me either. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy to me. Like, you know, everything is technology now and nobody, when it comes to school, nobody knows shit. You get what I'm saying? Like, it just pisses me off. Like, last semester, everybody, <clears throat> my teacher was very, very lenient. My teacher, you know, would let kids come in I'm going to call them kids because most of them are like 20 years old. And to me, they're a, a kid acting the way that they do. Falling asleep in class, eating in class, going to Dunkin' Donuts before they come to school, but they don't make it to class on time, you know. And what I have a problem with is I'm paying for the class, right? I'm paying for the class. We're supposed to be here at 9 o'clock. I'm here every day by 8.30. Latest, 8.40 if it's late. Um, The traffic is terrible outside. I'm always here at 8.30. No matter what time... Sometimes I say I'm leaving my house. I leave my house sometimes late. And late to me is 8.05, 8.10. And I still live 40 minutes away and I still manage to get here 30 minutes before. How is that possible? How is that possible? I'm not driving 90 miles per hour, but I get here on fucking time. You got what I'm saying? So... You know, these kids will come in, oh, sorry, I have to leave early because I got to go pick up my, my kid from school. Oh, sorry, I have an appointment, I have to leave. Oh, sorry, I came in late because there's traffic. How is this? How is that possible? There's these girls that live farther than me, farther than where I live, and manage to get here early. So the excuses don't add up. They don't add up to me at all. Because my teacher always has to stop lecture and be like, okay, hold on, I got to take attendance. Okay, hold on, this isn't the chapter that we're in. You got what I'm saying? And <clears throat> there's times that we're here till 9.45 in class. And she'll be like, oh, no, we have to wait for other students. You got me fucked up. She came in one time with COVID, too. COVID. And she's like, oh, you know. If you're going to come up to the front of the class, let me know so I can wear my mask. I shouldn't be here today. Excuse me? Now, I have a fucking problem with that. Because it's like, if you know that you shouldn't be here and you're 70 years old in a fucking walker and you shouldn't be here, why are you here? I mean, I don't have no fucking kids. You know what I'm saying? Half of the class, half of the class has multiple kids. So you telling me you're okay with coming to class and not even at least wearing your mask and you're fucking hawking and, and coughing up a goddamn storm? I'm telling you, I can't make none of this shit up. I, I cannot make none of this shit up. You know what I'm saying? This semester is packed. It's packed. The class is packed. When I tell you there's no seats, the only thing you're going to be able to do is sit on the floor because there's no seats. Half of the class is recurring students that failed the class. Most of us are annoyed. Most of us are so annoyed because a lot of these girls that are in our class, they're young. They remind me of what I used to be back in the days. You know, when you have like that, you know, why am I here? Why, why do I have to be here again? You know what I'm saying? But they vocalize it. They verbalize it. I don't. I used to always be like, damn, why, why I got to be here again in my mind? But I don't vocalize shit. I don't tell people shit. 
You know what I'm saying? These girls are uh, pissed again because they failed. I don't know why I got to take this fucking class again. Well, if you would have fucking passed the first time and maybe come to class on time, maybe you would have never fucking failed. And the problem is that, you know, I'll be in my own little corner. Like the other day I was on break on my phone on the corner by myself. All these girls come next to me. I don't know why I got to be here again. Bro, I cannot make this up. If I can wear a camera 24-7, y'all going to be like, oh my God, I don't know how you do it. You know what I'm saying? Like patience, I have to have patience everywhere I go. You know, like the class, like it's just too big. It's too big. Like they should have put the kids that failed again in another class. They're so disruptive. You know, two of them already left early, you know, and the teacher's like, you know, she said a comment the other day, like, I see when y'all leave early. I see the excuses. The one girl stopped the class in the middle of the class. She already failed this class the last time. She's like, excuse me, I have to leave because they just called me from my kid's um, uh, daycare and I have to go and pick him up. Well, we didn't see you pick up no damn phone call because if you would have, you're in class on your phone, you didn't pick up no phone call. So that don't make sense to me. But then again, that's not my business. But then you're, you're disrupting the class. So it is my business. You know what I'm saying? Like this class, this school is just ghetto trash. Once I graduate, I'll tell y'all the school, you know what I'm saying? I don't recommend nobody to come to the school. I'm telling y'all right now, I don't recommend anybody to come to the school because this school is just ghetto trash. Last semester, the day before, the day before, you know, well, it was Thursday, the last Thursday. We have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. So I'm going to say the day before because the weekend doesn't count. They told us. The teacher for the new semester came in and was like, oh, hey, I just want to introduce myself. I'm going to be your new teacher. Um, did you guys get the email that you have to download your books, your ebooks, and blah, blah, blah? And we're like all lost. We didn't get no fucking email. So what are you talking about? It's just like, shouldn't you tell us a week in advance and just like tell us, hey, be, you know, look for email or this is the new classes you're going to have. Just check your computer and your course section and try to download it. You know, when you can, if you have a time, you know, if you can download it. Just email me or call me, blah, blah, blah. Like, don't wait till the day before, bro. Like, how y'all going to do that? Like, I don't understand it. So, you know, I'm just going to come in here and see what is going to happen you know, um, to me, this class is useless too. It's math for uh, medical or whatever. You know, it's two different teachers broken into three classes. I don't understand that because, you know, the cutting teacher, she's just <clears throat> miserable. So we have that class for an hour and a half. I have no idea what she's going to teach us because she just looks delusional to me. You know what I'm saying? And I know me and her are going to have it out. I already know it. You know what I'm saying? I just don't fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? Even the other girl that was with me that she's gravitated towards me was like the other day. I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything because if y'all know me, it, it, if I say something, it's going to be a problem. That that's all I'm gonna say. When I say something, it will be a problem. And today is gonna be one of those days. Cause I'm gonna go right to the director on my break and tell her what the fuck is going on here. You know, I'm paying for this school and, and what's going on with my books. Nobody could fucking help me. So you better find a solution or I'm gonna just drop the fucking course. I'll drop this course. That's it. Like I don't have time for games. You know, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for nonsense. You know, I've been very lenient. It's been over a week. I've been trying to do what I got to do. I go home, turn on my computer, try to figure it out. You know, one of the students was trying to help me on her break over an hour. Still can't figure it out. We call the hotline and still can't figure it out. You know, so the one student, you know, I asked that teacher for help. We both asked her and she just like gave us such a nasty attitude that she even told me, what the fuck is wrong with this teacher? You know, another student too was like, excuse like why are you yelling like excuse me like it's not that serious like we're not children like yelling across the room like you could tell like she's just so miserable like i don't understand it like y'all might think that i might complain about everything and blah 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 but i'm gonna tell y'all something if you don't like your job if you're not gonna do your job the right way you know i suggest you to find another career if you come into school with, you know, a nasty ass attitude, like, you know, discouraged, like you just don't want to be there. Don't fucking do it. 
That's what I don't understand. And I'm going to tell the director that today. You, you need to talk to this teacher. I don't like her attitude. She comes in here like, you know, we're a bother to her. You know, we're paying her for this shit. She's getting paid because we're here. So she needs to change that fucking attitude, bro. Like, I don't understand that. Like, I don't know how some of these teachers were fucking nurses. I, I, I just don't see it. I cannot see it. I just can't. You have to be compassionate to do this. You really do. Like, if you're not compassionate, if you're going to be, a, you know, a self, um, how can I say it? Like, a person that only cares about themselves, this is not the career for you. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because you're going to deal with, you're going to come encounter with a lot of families, with a lot of patients that are sick, that are not happy, that are, you know, vulnerable, that need some type of love, that need some encouragement, that need some kind words. If you cannot do that, then don't do this field. I, I'm telling you right now. You know what I'm saying? Because I know what I'm getting myself into. I just need to get the fuck going with this fucking, you know, school. That's all I need. But I'm very compassionate. You know, everybody, and it's crazy because I've been meeting so many people at work. So many people at work that be like, oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Get it done. And we just be having so many com conversations. Like every time I work, somebody either gives me a hug, somebody confides in me, tells me something. So it's like, I know that this is what I'm meant to do. What I don't like is the fuckery. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody here is going to school and dealing with some BS, you know what I'm saying? I suggest you go to the director. I suggest you speak to somebody because you got to nip it in the butt. You really do. I just hope that I can make it through this semester. I can figure out the book situation today. I'm going to talk to my teachers, both of them, and, you know, see what can be done because I'm not going to be doing this. I'm not going to do this. So, you know, wish me luck. If you guys have excuse me, any questions, I know this intro was a little bit long, um, leave your questions down below, I'll try to answer them for you, I'll try to give you guys more insight on everything that I'm doing, and things like that, and maybe try to show you a little bit of the classroom and stuff like that. Where does he get his, what, what happens when he gets his super strength, what ha has to happen? He has to get mad. Huh? He has to get mad. He has to get mad, he has to get angry, okay? Put you guys, I'm going to show you really quick the lab really quick before I get in trouble. I want to show you guys the room we were just in. These are the dummies. Really quick. They look toe up from the flow up. But look how cool this looks. And we were just learning how to do PPE. As you can see. Look at my girls over here, chilling. So, yeah, you guys. It is getting real. So, I am drinking my tea. It is 2 o'clock. And I am studying right now, doing some assignments. This assignment, it's 137 questions. I do them every day. I do, like, 20 to 30 questions because this assignment alone takes four hours and 32 minutes and it's a, it's a lot so i already did some of my uh, work for my other communi communications class um i'll start working on my next um week next week which i'm ahead of the game so i'll be doing chapter nine week nine so yeah, with this class as well, I'm doing good. So, yeah, you guys, studying on a Friday. This is my scrubs. Hence, I put a little logo here so you guys don't see what school I go to because once I graduate, then I'll show you guys. <laughs> it's not even pinned well. But I got this headband from Shein, a three-pack morning, got it for me. And then my scrubs fit me so big that they keep falling some people are using safety pins at the <clears> bottom because <throat> we're like sweeping the floor and like literally you can see if i don't pick them up all all the time every day you will see my ass so yeah nurse in the making good evening from the weather center where we continue to track the progress of hurricane chris Dating watching dawson's creek when i tell you my dad and all of us are obsessed it's an understatement. And my dad never seen it. My dad never seen it. <laughs> 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 
So, Marnie's getting Botox. Yeah, I'm about to go get my forehead done because it's doing a movement of its own. So, mm. I gotta go. Botox is done, you guys. Oh my god, it was perfect. That guy was so fine. The doctor was so fine. He gave me a handshake. He was so, sweet, yeah. His hands were so soft. Oh my god. Like, I felt kind of like weird because when I get nervous, I get sweaty and he shook my hand. I'm like, I'm so yeah. sorry. He was so nice mm. and he's married and I love to see like men who are married come into work, do their job, be nice to women, mm -hmm. shake their hand, and not be like creeps. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm like, hell yeah, girl, get mm -hmm. it. For that next woman that's married. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I love that. Mm -hmm. I like coming here anyways. Oh, I forgot to tell you. At 11 o'clock, I'm taking my, um, I've been doing tutoring classes, Chinese tutoring classes. So I'm going to get on the call now with my teacher. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, we better get off because she has a call in like three minutes and we just keep rambling. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, forehead check. You can't move it? Mm-mm. That's okay. I mean, it looks great. It feels so tight and right. Oh, wow. It was worth the 390 <laughs> So we are in this new Starbucks right here. And I actually love this one because the parking... Like the entrance of the parking, it's amazing. It's not packed ever. Um, and they're so nice here. So we got two strawberry refreshers because I am thirsty. And we're going to Burlington. So cheers, look at mine. So I got this one, Morning got that one. Mm. I'm so thirsty. It's not even funny. Y'all see my hair? I gotta wash my hair when I get home. But we're gonna go to Burlington real quick. This one is a new Burlington that they just opened. So hopefully we don't find anything besides the eye cream that we need. And oh, you know what? The carpet for the bathroom. We need yeah, a- I wanna change the bathroom. She got me into like every month I wanna mm -hmm. buy. And um- It's so beautiful. Yeah, we gotta go to the Bronx to go see mm -hmm. my childhood babysitter. So I'm gonna go to the store cause they have so much nice mm -hmm. stuff over there. Mm -hmm. So I wanna re up on bathroom supplies. You yeah. know you're getting older when you're buying stuff for the crib. Yeah. For and the crib. in my new job, I started buying a whole bunch of shit. A whole bunch of shit for the house already on clearance, 50% off plus discount. I can't wait till we move so that we could start decorating. And we are those girls that don't like to decorate because the more you buy, the more you pile up for every season. But Halloween, I love Halloween, like, just to decorate, you know? Yeah, yeah. And we ran to uh, Walmart today, and we walked right the fuck back because the line was insane. So, we left, but they had these cute, like, suede pumpkins in mint. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, oh, he's cute back there. And in black, but yeah, you guys, let me stop rambling because I'm yeah. in the middle of the drive-thru. We've been seeing Mac, you guys. Mm -hmm. oh. No Burlington, so let's see what we find in here today. All right, you guys, so this Burlington was real, real big. I didn't see no, like, good selections of purses. What I did find was a lot of cute um, carpets, like rugs, I mean, for the bathroom, and they had a gingerbread rug and the shower curtain so bad and i regret not buying it the barbie one and then they had the barbie like um soap dispenser they had so many shampoos now mind you we need shampoo for our hair we need deodorant we're running low on that stuff but we didn't want to stand in line because the line was hella crazy and we are those girls that we don't want to wait and we just don't want to spend wanna money. We don't want to spend money that mm -mm. day either. Sometimes me and my sister be acting mad cheap and we're like, yeah, we don't want to spend money. Yeah. Because like if you guys see my house, you guys, I don't have no space in my room. I would show you guys our room, but I am so embarrassed by the way that I live because <laughs> when I tell you every corner, look at all these mugs. Yeah, and I was gonna buy mugs. Look at this Barbie mug, and I left everything. When I tell you I left everything, I left everything because I live like a hoarder and it's embarrassing. So we got Domino's today. We got some of the marinara cheese. 
We got some mild wings here, bread, and then Marlene's wings are barbecue. They got the 50% off, so we got the Cali chicken, chicken bacon, bacon ranch. ranch. I can't wait to eat, so I'm starving. At the movies, we're going to see Beetlejuice. I'm excited. Are you excited, Marlene? And it's we got Jersey. We got Jersey Mike's. At the movies. Oh, we're at the movies. We're gonna watch Beetlejuice. I'm excited. What? Have your Coke and popcorn ready to go with mobile ordering. No. I'm gonna eat it upstairs. Bob, go down the floor. Who's your sweet? Where am I? Take a number, take a seat. So you guys, this is the ending of the vlog. We hope that you guys enjoyed it. We hope that you understand where I was coming from with my school. I'm going to try to do more of go, go to school with me type, right Marlene? Mm -hmm. A type of video. Um, we're going to be vlogging more. We did love Beetlejuice. Leave your comments down below and let us know if y'all saw Beetlejuice. Which one else we want to see Marlene? Uh, Venom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Venom, that's coming out. Mm-hmm. And, um... Make these cheeks clap with Marlene. Make them clap. That oh movie's my coming God. out soon, guys. Oh, my God. That this movie's girl, coming out soon. It's crazy. So, I just came from work a little while ago. And I have to open tomorrow morning again and Saturday. So, yeah, you guys. I hope that you guys have an amazing weekend. And... We'll see you next time, guys. Mm-hmm. Bye, guys. Grinch, say bye. Deuces, hoes. Deuces. Bye, everybody.